Bulls Nation, over the course of many days, there has been a lot of events and a lot of news that have been happening around the Chicago Bulls. Some former players joining some new teams. Obviously, the Hall of Fame induction that we will be talking about today. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be catching up on a lot of things that I have failed to mention over the course of a few days. We're going to be talking about Denzel Valentine signing with the Cleveland Cavaliers. We're going to be talking about, obviously, Tony Kukoc getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. And we're going to be discussing Zach Levine and his talks about his contract. So without further ado, let's talk about all these things in this video. Let's do it. everybody it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video today we've got a Chicago Bulls related video catching up on all of the news that I have missed over the course of the days for the Chicago Bulls there are a few things that I failed to mention that we should talk about as a Chicago Bulls YouTube channel and that is something that I'm going to do as of today but before we get started please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about all of the news that we'll be discussing today about the Chicago Bulls. So, first things first, I want to talk about former Chicago Bulls player Denzel Valentine. We renounced his rights not too long ago, and as of today, he is officially signed to a two-year partially agreed deal, I believe, to the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cleveland Cavaliers feel like that could add some wing depth to their roster, which is something that, in my opinion, I don't have too much to say on. But Denzel Valentine, a former Chicago Bulls player, he posted on his Instagram today, lovely message about the Chicago Bulls, how he was honored and privileged to wear that Chicago Bulls jersey. And although he's not a fan favorite, as though, as though many people believe that he was a complete bust for the Chicago Bulls and all of these things, I truly believe that in the end, everything happens for a reason. And Denzel Valentine did not work out for the Chicago Bulls. And now he'll be moving on to the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm not a, I'm not going to be a person to bash players when they leave and join the Chicago Bulls if they fail to deliver or they deliver up front. The reality is not everybody's going to be a success on the Chicago Bulls. It's a known fact. Not everybody is a good player on the team. There are teams, there are players that will fail. And that's just the way of life. That's just the way that it goes. I don't think it was necessarily a failure, but he definitely definitely under delivered as a Chicago Bull and he will be going elsewhere now to the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cleveland Cavaliers have now signed two players from the Chicago Bulls, Larry Markkinen and Denzel Valentine. So hopefully both of those players could do very well in Cleveland. And now we focus our attention to this roster for the Chicago Bulls and wish Denzel Valentine all the best. At least that's what I'll be doing in this video. I wish Denzel Valentine all of the best. It didn't work out. It is what it is, and now we both move on. Thank you for all the kind words you said about the Chicago Bulls. Now, let's move on into Zach Levine. Now, I believe Zach Levine had some communication about his contract extension. He was asked about it, and he basically said in a quote, at least the only quote that I've seen, it's just business when it comes to talking about the contract negotiations. And many people have discussed or have told me that this could potentially mean that there are avenues for Zach Levine to leave the Chicago Bulls. From day one, I've said I'm very confident Zach Levine will sign the contract extension. And it's not because that we're the only team interested. It's not because there are not players and teams that will be trying to persuade Zach Levine to go elsewhere. But it's because I believe this front office will give him the money that he wants. From the very beginning, Zach Levine has said he wants to be respected in the contract negotiations and he wants to be, he wants to get his pay. He wants to be valued and he wants to stay in Chicago. These are the three things that makes me believe that Zach Levine will be prioritizing staying in Chicago over everywhere else. So, he wants to be respected in the contract negotiations with the way that we've been communicating through him without, throughout the entire, I guess, free agency period is something that I, I find very valuable. And I think he would too, considering he was involved in a lot of the things Chicago Bulls have done. The fact that he wants to get paid, the Chicago Bulls potentially willing to give him that contract, another reason why he should be very interested in the Chicago Bulls. And he said for numerous times he wants to stay in Chicago. So the only way that I see this failing, the only way I see Zach Levine leaving the Chicago Bulls, not getting the money that he desires, is if the Chicago Bulls themselves feel that he's not deserving of that. 
That's the only way that I see this going going down in smoke, ladies and gentlemen. That's the only way that I see us not getting what we deserve out of this situation and as Zach Levine staying long term. If the Chicago Bulls do not see Zach Levine as a max contract player or a player that is deserving of his money, that's the only way Zach Levine will not be on the Chicago Bulls for many years to come, in my opinion. So as of now, I am still very confident, I'm still very assured that Zach Levine will be a Chicago Bull this year and for many years to come, because I don't see how the Chicago Bulls cannot see Zach Levine as one of the players that deserves close to a max, if not a max contract. And the respect that they should give him is the respect he deserves. And he wants respect, and the Bulls have given him respect so far. If it is just business, that's just a way of saying, if the Chicago Bulls do not give what I want, there are other avenues out there. But I feel like the Chicago Bulls will give Zach Levine what he wants. So I'm not bothered about this situation just yet. Of course, down the line, we could have more situations, more things coming out that will make us worried. But this story right here, I'm completely and utterly not worried about just yet. Give it some time and let's see what the Chicago Bulls can do in the offseason next year when it comes to Zach Levine. The last thing I want to mention, Tony Kukoc, a player that has been celebrated by the Chicago Bulls today and of course his country as he is inducted into the Hall of Fame along with other great players like Paul Pierce. It is a very, very good honor to be celebrated as a Hall of Famer. And this is someone that in my opinion has kind of sparked up what has been going on around the league as of today. Tony Kukoc, and he might not be the first, but he's one of the more significant players that have come from Europe to the NBA and have performed at, the, at, at a high level, compete for championships, win championships, and win awards, individual awards alongside of that. Tony Kukoc was the sixth man of the year candidate. Tony Kukoc, in the end, came into the Chicago Bulls team and elevated them dramatically. And he won three championships for the Chicago Bulls. Now, I'm not the right person to ask when it comes to the significance of Tony Kukoc on the Chicago Bulls, because the reality is I wasn't alive and I was not watching at the time that Tony Kukoc was on this team. So the reality is I'm not the right guy to ask about this situation because I can give you misleading information. However, there are a lot of people in the comments that have watched in the 90s and have watched Tony Kukoc, Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman all play at their peaks. And ladies and gentlemen, these are things that I feel if you want to get a further understanding of what Tony Kukoc meant to the Chicago Bulls, I'm sure if you look at the comment section of a lot of Chicago Bulls videos that have been talking about this discussion, as well as potentially my own comment section, you'll get an understanding of how just solid Tony Kukoc was for the Chicago Bulls. Many people have said if he didn't play for the Chicago Bulls and he played in an era or I guess a, a, on another team where he wasn't necessary, where he was more of a star, a vocal point of a team, he would have got a lot more praise and he would have done a lot better in terms of stats than what he did for the Chicago Bulls. However, he was able to sacrifice for the Chicago Bulls. He was able to play off of the bench for the Chicago Bulls. He was able to win sixth man of the year for the Chicago Bulls. And not to mention, Scotty Pippen said it himself, if Tony Kukoc doesn't play on this team, this team didn't win. That is exactly what came out of his mouth in quotes. And that is something that I find very valuable to know. And that's very good information to have. And we celebrate the fact that he was that good of a player, that he was good enough to enter the Hall of Fame. And again, he sparked a lot of European players now coming into the league and being that guy, being the being some of the best players in the world are, are European players now. And Tony Kukoc was one of those players that entered the Chicago Bulls at a time where it wasn't, I, I guess, a European, a more international style basketball. There wasn't many international players in the NBA at the time. He was one of those players that came in and excelled very highly because of that. I'm excited to see how the future goes in terms of the European players and international players. Many people are not big fans of that, and some people are a big fan of that. But Tony Kukoc kind of led the example. Obviously, you have Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk Nowitzki is obviously one of the best players of all time at the power forward position. And he was an international player, and that definitely sparked up a lot of things. But for me, Tony Kukoc was one of the first players of significance from at least a Chicago Bulls perspective to be able to do that. And hopefully we can see along the lines of players like Nikola Vucevic, players like we saw Larry Marco last year. Obviously Marco is a very, very young up upcoming player. Hopefully these players can live up to those standards and we'll wait and see how that goes. But 
congratulations to Tony Kukoc on celebrating and being part of a Hall of Fame class and he's definitely worthy in my opinion and I cannot wait to see down the line if there are many more Chicago Bulls players entering the Hall of Fame at one time. Again, with the teams that we've developed over the course of the years, you'd like to see D. Rose, maybe even a Jimmy Butler at times enter at one time or another into the Hall of Fame. Obviously, we still have a very good team here. Maybe someone, one of these players could potentially do it. I'm not sure, but I'm very, very excited for the future. And congratulations to Tony Kukoc for being that player. And again, this is your night. Enjoy it. Enjoy it with your family. Enjoy it with all your former teammates and your friends. It's a beautiful moment to have. And one the Chicago Bulls fans across the world will feel very happy about. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please like and subscribe if you're new. In the end, this wouldn't be a Chicago Bulls channel if I never talked about Tony Kukoc. I know it's not the main focal point right now because we have a really good team and we're focusing on the start of the season. We're focusing on training camp, adding the 15th and two-way contract additions to the team. But we do have to celebrate the past as well. We do have to celebrate the teams and the players that gave so much of their life and effort to make us as good as we were, to build that franchise, to build that stature of what we are today, one of the top organizations in basketball. And that might not be off on the court wise, but in terms of marketing wise, we are one of the top destinations in the NBA. And a lot of players like Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Tony Kukoc, or even the coaches, Phil Jackson, all of these things are reasons why we are one of the top organizations in the NBA. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for the Chicago Bulls. Have a wonderful and safe day, Bulls Nation. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.